Hi, it's Mike at Phase One, and today we're going to take our first look at the brand new Chauve DJ Gig Bar Move. got here this is a brand new product from Chauve and it's the gig bar move now the gig bar and the gig bar 2 if you're familiar with them you'll know exactly what this is if you're not familiar with what a gig bar is what rock have you been living under my word have they been successful products for us the gig bar and the gig bar 2 basically the first item that came out was the gig bar I remember the day the rep walked in our shop with a gig bar from Chauve I laughed as he got it out the box, I said, you are joking me. I'm not going to sell this nonsense. Don't. You're having a joke. He said, Mike, can I just show you it? So I said, well, seeing as you've travelled all the way, stick it on. And then I proceeded to eat every single word I'd just said to him. It was brilliant. It was a great product. And then we got the Gig Bar 2, which was just a brighter version of a Gig Bar 1, which was even better. Now I know this is not everybody's cup of tea and there will be those DJs out there that go oh this is a cheap and cheerful item uh, the gig bars for the cheap discos and stuff like that yeah alright what I like about a gig bar is is its simplicity not everybody wants to do DMX not everybody's comfortable doing DMX but when you buy a gig bar you've got several light effects on a bar that's all pre-wired it's a 30 second thing to go and put up and it just works. I really thought the programming on the Gig Bar 2 and the Gig Bar 1 was excellent. So what they've brought us out now is another new Gig Bar and this is the Gig Bar Move. What have they changed? It's not going to take a rocket scientist to work it out but we've got on the end of here two little moving heads. So the idea, the principle, stays, stays the same. You get the bar and all these lights are fixed to the bar. You can't take them off they stay on the bar. They are removable, but you wouldn't take them off. And you can't move them, and you can't replace them with other lights. This is a system to use. It comes with a stand, and the stands, to be honest with you, we've got a few gig bars. I even own a couple of these as well, and I tend to hire them out for parties and all kinds of things. Uh, these stands just work, you know. Yes, it's a plastic collar here, plastic collar there, but I find that they're just good enough for what they need. This is all metal construction, yeah, this is all part of it as well. The pars are made of plastic, these derbies and the laser, they are made of metal. And this is a moving head with a 10 watt LED in, and yes, this is plastic and it's got a plastic housing. And we've got a, just on the front there, we've got a manual focus. Right, other things I like on here, and what I loved about the gig bar, the gig bar move still comes with a foot controller, a wireless foot controller. Now it says in the manual that this is good for up to 30 meters. Now this shop isn't 30 meters long, so I'm not gonna be able to test that theory, but that's what it says, 30 meters, brilliant. I've always found when I'm using the foot controller, I've never had a problem with the range. Obviously you've got to put a battery into it. I believe it's a nine volt square battery that goes in there. And it also comes with one of these IR remotes. Yeah, the point and shoot remote. Uh, I don't know why they put that in actually. I can't get my head around it when I, I've got this. I don't know. I, don't, I like using this. I've never used this with a gig bar. I always use this. But it comes in the box as well. You saw earlier in the picture there was a bag. It comes with a bag. I will say as well, the gig bar bags are good. I know the whole industry complains about, you know, I bought this light, I bought this DJ booth and it came with it free bag and the zips broke right what I will say about the Chauvet bags for the gig bar range are pretty good they're built really really well they're molded properly on the inside with loads of packing like I say I own a few gig bars myself never had an issue with a bag uh, there also comes a bag for the stand as well and again it's just a standard bag stand and it, nothing wrong with it it just works I've written down a few specs on here because I can never remember everything and I'm going to run through it. 
So I'll move in heads, like I said earlier, 10 watt LED, seven colors in plus white, and we've got a uh, seven gobos, and it's a separate gobo wheel as well. Uh, so separate gobo wheel, separate co uh, color wheel, and one of the gobos is open, so we've got seven gobos plus open. We've got on a beam angle of 11 degrees, and apparently somewhere I can set on here, which I'll find out later when I turn it on, we can set this into totem mode. Totem mode means it'll only be forward facing all the time. Brilliant. We find that in a lot of the Chauvet moving heads. The Derbies, we've got LEDs in there, 5 watt LEDs, we've got 2 red, 2 green and 2 blue. I've seen this on already and they are just great. As the Derby light, yeah I know it's not the most, we've seen hundreds of Derby lights before. But these look really really well. The beam have coverage on this, 131 degrees. We've got our power lights in the middle. The power lights are RGB, so red, green, blue, plus a UV, so we can get some hot pinks out of that as well. And they, them, those LEDs are three and a half watt. We've got our little diffraction cluster laser on the top here, which is a red and green laser. The red diode, 100 milliwatt, and it's a 30 milliwatt on the green. Plenty bright enough. Uh, the stand height will go from 1.5 to 2.5 and dmx channels you can basically if you want to dmx this up and i'm not going to be dmxing this up i'm going to be plugging it in and playing around with that foot switch right but under the control of dmx you can take control over all of these fixtures because we've got three channels of dmx 17 or 35 so if you're not happy with the programs that this produces make some of your own on dmx what we're going to do in this video is we're going to put it into our lighting showroom, the usual sketch, put a bit of smoke on. Uh, we won't put it into sound to light, I'm going to put it into auto mode. There'll be a bit of music overdubs. Every time we put music on YouTube at the minute, it just seems to be getting taken down. So we'll use some generic music over the top. We'll run through the auto programs. We're going to have a look at the menu on the back as well, because apparently, uh, if I can turn this round, I'll turn this round, let's have a go. If I turn this round like this, right, tighten that up there. Apparently this menu is all new, it's like a digital menu, so this is interesting as well. We can link these up as well, DMX on 3-pin DMX, and we've got our interlock here, where we have an interlock and a key for the laser. So when you use these items, and um, trust me, this happens so many times. Nobody likes reading instruction books. A lot of people will buy a gig bar off me and go, Mike, it's fantastic, laser's not working no mate, it's going to have to come back. And I go, have you put the interlock in? Yeah, I've put the little key in. No, but have you put the interlock in? What's the interlock? The interlock goes in there. And then, lo and behold, the laser will work. So there's an interlock and a key for the laser. We've got power on IEC in and out, so we can power link. And of course, we can run these master and slave. So if you wanted to buy a pair of them, uh, you could link them up, master and slave, via DMX on 3-pin XLR. And also, and we will test this in the video, there's a rumour going round. You can link this to the Gig Bar 2, master slave. We'll test it.
then, we're going to see if the rumours are true and we're going to connect a cable from that gig bar move there to that gig bar too and see if we can get it to work master slave. Did I like it? Yes, I'm a big fan of the gig bar. I just think it ticks a little box for a little job. Lights on a stand that are all just, you know, so quick and easy to set up. I love the programming on the original gig bar. I like the programming on this gig bar. Couple of little niggles I've got, just a couple of little niggles. The other gig bar, because you saw the other gig bar in the lighting showroom, uh, I can attach it to uh, the rig because it's got some little end legs that can fit on it. Uh, no end legs on this one. It doesn't come supplied with any end legs. I would have liked to have hung that up um, You know for those guys that have got a gantry that just want to hang it on top. So I missed that uh, Obviously, I will say because I know I'm going to get asked this question. Does it move? Does it wobble? Right, I found this was an ideal height and the movement on it was minimal very minimal once you started to go up really high, it did start to accentuate that a little bit. It's a big word. I hope it's the right word I'm using. All right? So at this height, and you know, I'm about 5'9", so it's a head height, ceiling height. I thought it worked perfectly. It was a little bit of movement. There's going to be. There's a moving head on a T-bar. You just can't not do that. The only way you can do that is put a moving, moving head on a podium. And sometimes they have a little bit of movement to them. That height I thought worked great, no problem, the movement didn't bother me at all. When I get it up to full height, because this stand does go up really high, I thought it was a little bit too much. But they're my only two niggles, otherwise do I think this is a banging product? Absolutely, I really do, I think it looked fantastic master and slave. Imagine if you had a pair of these and then an ordinary gig bar in the middle, or if you already have a pair of gig bars and put this one in the middle, I thought it looked absolutely stunning. For more information on pricing, click the link in the description to this video. It will take you through to our website. And uh, if you like our videos, we're always reviewing stuff. Give us a give us a subscribe, give us a like, give us a share. It's Mike at Phase One. Cheers.